Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January 22nd of 2023 well, it is titled in green company Aurora over Norway. So what do we see here? Well, here we do see the Aurora in an image from 2014. So this is about nine years old and taken from Norway and Norway being very far north does get some very spectacular auroral displays that often those of us further south or closer to the equator never get to see. Now Aurora are quite common when the sun is its most active. So over the last few years, they've been rarer than normal. And that's because the sun was at a minimum of activity over the last few years, and is now reaching a new a maximum or will be in a couple more years, but we see the activity starting to rise. So here we see one uh, display of what we might see in an Aurora. And in the foreground, we do have the mountain here with the person standing on the top with their arms raised looking at the aurora and then the aurora itself in the sky is caused by charged particles from our sun so when something like a solar flare occurs it flings off a lot of charged particles out into space if they happen to be directed toward earth they will then strike earth's magnetic field and be funneled around to the north and south magnetic poles so those are the regions where we see the aurora our regions very far north and very far south so we see here the aurora occurs again when those particles strike Earth's atmosphere, they will cause oxygen atoms high up in Earth's atmosphere to glow. And those oxygen atoms give off the distinct green glow that we associate with the aurora. And we'll also notice here that the aurora are not clouds. You can see a few clouds here. And if you note, the clouds completely block out the stars from being seen through them. So the clouds are dense and opaque and do not allow that. The uh, aurora is only a glow in the atmosphere. So if you look through the aurora, you can actually see many stars visible directly through the aurora, simply because it is just a glowing of the atmosphere. It is not something else in the atmosphere that is then blocking out the light. So we look forward over the next few years to some more spectacular auroral displays such as the one we see today from 2014. And hopefully we'll see plenty more as the sun becomes more and more active and we have more solar flares flinging particles in out into space and in the direction of Earth. So that was our picture of the day for January 22nd of 2023. It was titled in green company Aurora over Norway. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be dueling galaxies. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.